Hey, welcome to this video. Now, for the longest time, I've been trying to figure out how to play background music inside and during my live streams. And it's been testing different things and putting together different tools and overlays and different, you know, connecting different platforms and different websites. I used to use Epidemic Sound and play it while I was live streaming because I have an Epidemic Sound license. And so it would cover my royalties and you know licensing and everything with YouTube's rules but it is now way easier with the help of StreamYard and so I'm gonna share my screen I'm gonna show you guys how to play background music inside of StreamYard during your live streams and it is so easy now the way that they have done it so let me share my screen really quick and let's dive right into it now before anything if you are not using StreamYard yet you don't have an account yet head over to the link in the description that will give you a 14-day free trial on any of the StreamYard paid plans amazing tool amazing platform i use it to live stream all the time and so make sure you do that now once you are set up with StreamYard, all you need to do is set up a broadcast i have I have another video that will show you how to set up a broadcast and once you have a broadcast that's you need a broadcast you need a place to live stream and so a broadcast will do that you'll be in this page right here which is broadcast and then you can click on the enter studio uh, page uh, button right here really really easy so that you go inside of your studio now it's going to go through this real quick it's going to bring you into your into your broadcast. You're going to just put your display name here at the bottom and then click the blue enter studio button at the bottom. And now you are inside of your StreamYard studio. Now, this is probably really familiar if you're already using StreamYard. If not, if this is new to you, it's actually the beauty of StreamYard. It's very easy to understand, very intuitive in terms of its options and buttons and features. Um, and so we're gonna skip right to the place where you can play your background music inside of StreamYard. So we're gonna go here. I'm gonna pull up my marker again. We're gonna click on brand, all right? So on the right hand menu bar, uh, you're gonna see brand, all right? So let's click on brand. And now you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna bypass all of these other options, uh, fantastic options by the way, but for this tutorial, we're gonna go straight down to the very bottom of this sub page or side page here, and you're gonna see background music, right? Now, it was a little hard to find because it is a little bit buried right now. Um, and so uh, you're gonna find background music though. And this is a new feature you can see here by the little uh, sticker icon here that says new, all right, very new. And so you can go ahead and play all of these pre-uploaded royalty free meaning you're not going to get dinged you're not going to get a copyright strike if you're streaming with this music that StreamYard has already uploaded so you can for example play acoustic cinematic music right here you can play dance pop right here you may not hear this because it's not connected to this recording but the point is that you have a few different options already of music that you can play. You don't need a license to Epidemic Sound or Soundstripe or any of those similar type uh, platforms or tools. Uh, all of these are royalty free music that StreamYard has already made available to you. Now, there's a couple different options here. Just so you know, you can uh, make sure that this music is looping. So that if you're going longer than the actual length of the track, then it just keeps looping over and over again uh, during your stream, all right? You can also control the volume here. So you can control the volume of the music itself. So right here, there's a little toggle that controls, allows you to control the volume. So if it's too loud or too, too low, um, then you can control the volume as you please. All right, so again, very easy, fantastic feature. It's one of my favorites right now uh, that StreamYard has launched recently. And so hopefully that helps you. If you have any questions, if there's anything about StreamYard that you would like to know a little bit more about, that you'd like to some explanation about, drop them in the comments down below. I wanna make sure I answer any of your questions around streaming and specifically StreamYard. I love StreamYard, it's a great platform. I met the folks actually from StreamYard last week um, in San Diego at a conference and just a fantastic team. So if you have any questions, let me know. Again, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Also, quick shout out, if you are interested in joining our community, it's called the Creator TV Community. 
community. We have a Discord server, and I will also put the link down in the description, or you can find it over here, I think, um, in the banner. It'll be linked there as well. We'd love for you to join us over there. It's a fantastic group of creators, and we are learning. We're doing office hours every single week uh, to the members, and so we'd love for you to join us there. All right, so with that, um, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.